the 25th of May, 2022, for Vincent Corporation. And uh, we've got two brushes all over here. This is the one we're going to use in this test. And it's a twin screw press. Yep. see it closing. We're going to start with a cone close with two bar air pressure and uh, just see what happens. The uh, screws overlap in this press. That's the key to why we wanted to use this press. That's like a positive displacement machine. If something tries to rotate in there with one screw of wood, but the second screw here pushes along stuff that's wanting to co-rotate with the other screw. And of course it is feeding nicely so far. No liquid coming out so far. I guess you can just jump the whole thing. It's going to take about that much to pull the press up. We're running with it. A VFD down here someplace. I'm gonna grab my pen. Mm -hmm. I saw a drop of liquid. Okay. Starting to drip out. Now if we can just get the cone to open up. Okay, success one was that the uh, liquid being squeezed out. The cone is starting to open. It'll be wet when the, the first tape comes out. It, it's just transported like a silk and air moved it down without squeezing it. So it's still wet. But it's being pushed out under force, so it's leaking water at the discharge. Um, all of us do that. Yeah, we're going to need some more in here. All right. That is, we don't have enough to push the cone open. We don't have enough to push the cone open so far. Oh. <laughs> Oop, the whole thing went in. Well, that's will at least show how well this stuff feeds. You see some brown fines coming through. Not a lot of, very little fines coming through. And, um, I would have expected more. going on there but um, I don't think it's bridge down there it, um, it's just having trouble feeding yeah. and we've lost press liquor flow 
and no cake is coming out, so we've hit a snag. Okay, we've uh, made a major change here. We ran it in reverse a bit to back the material out, fluff it up, per se. We reset the speed from 60 hertz to 10 hertz, so we slowed this way down, trying to make it as gentle as possible. And uh, capacity goes down, but we're just trying to get something that works. We also uh, reduce the air pressure over there on our regulator to one bar. Uh, see what happens. I'm getting a little liquid again. Okay, we found a silver bullet. Um, we're getting a, a steady stream of liquid, and uh, we can see cake coming out. And um, I'll try 20 hertz, get a little more capacity, maybe, then we'll start a time test. Okay, I've got a lot more cake coming out at 20 hertz. Almost where I've lost the uh, dewatering. Let's run our test at 15 hertz. Okay, we've uh, started a time test. Need more stuff in here. Got to keep it continuously loaded. You don't want it to run empty on a test. And um, we're getting a steady flow of press liquor. Uh, you can see where we've changed containers that we started with. Darn, I see water dripping out there. That's a, a bad sign, but it can be fixed. Um, not sure where it's leaking from, but that... And we've got a cure for that water. It'll mean our press cake's a little wet, dry, wetter than it should be. We'll just be careful when we collect our sample of press cake to avoid that puddle that's dripping out. Cake coming out through the uh, discharge cones. Grab a sample and run the uh, uh, sock test again on the press cake. Okay, we're a minute and a half into the test. This stuff doesn't smell well, which is why everybody's leery of it, but it's... Oh, I haven't tried tasting it. Uh, we get... yeah, we're still getting a stream of water out. Try another clump in case I missed it. Okay, there was a stream of liquid coming out. So we're separating some liquid, but not enough. Okay, this is our second test. We have uh, slowed down to 8 hertz. And so uh, it doesn't look like a lot of press liquor, but we're curious to see if at the real low speed we managed to squeeze more water out of this. First test we cut off at three minutes, a little short. Well, still we got some uh, data to give us a ballpark at least. Here's what it looks like in the inlet hopper. We've done something here. If I take this press cake, remember how it was when I started? I couldn't get a thing out. But I can get a stream of water out of this press cake. We've pre-thickened it enough, and since I can get it out with my hand and I couldn't before, maybe we'll try pressing the press cake to see if it's firm enough now to really get a bite on it. Yeah, double pressing, that's a good idea. Double pressing. Okay, okay we're still running at uh, 3 RPM. That was 8 hertz. 
and it, it has fed down this way all by itself, which is encouraging as a freighter to bridge in this inlet hopper. The plan is we'll keep running this material. That's the last of our stock, and then we'll repress this cake that we've made. Okay, this is the third test. We're pressing the press cake. This is the second time through the press for this material. Uh, we increase the speed to, uh, we have five and a half RPM here. It is uh, 20 hertz. Uh, it shows that hertz and linear, is not linear with uh, true speed at these low speeds. We're getting a, uh, it's steady, which is good. And the cake is coming out steady. All the way around from the cone, shows that we got a good uh, screw and cone configuration here in this press. And we're into our time test, uh, uh, two and a quarter minutes. Okay. I was going to be the seven gallon. Yeah. Okay, uh, optimistically seven gallons of fresh liquor in our three trials. Uh, that's out of uh, 20 gallons of material, four or five gallon pails. Uh, you can count on at least five gallons, uh, so we got out uh, a quarter to maybe even a third by weight as pressed liquid uh, with this testing that we did.